Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my video and today I'm going to be doing a parts overview for a 4 inch quad that I'm going to be building. And now some of these components will be getting their own specific individual reviews such as the camera, the flight stack, and the frame. However, I just want to take this video to quickly go over all the components here and some quick thoughts on them. Alright, so the frame is the Q-Frames XS4 Stealth. I'm not going to do too much on this guy because I already have a specific review video out for this. But real quick, it just supports 4-inch arms, obviously, but he does have a 3- and 5-inch version. I think we have 25mm standoffs here. We've got 4mm arms, 1.5mm um, sandwich plates. has a specific mount for the Ishin VTX-03, a little backpack for it. That's very cool. Also has these little tiny camera mounts for a micro camera up front. It only supports 20x20 20 20 mounting, however it does do M2 and M3 depending on which plate you put on top. And a really nice frame overall for $30. Okay, so next up we're going to take a look at the motors. Now these are the Gemfan 1606 3500KV. Hopefully you can read that there, and you can see they are quite, quite shiny motors. You can see they have something interesting going on with the shaft. I believe they have an aluminum outer casing, and then maybe a titanium or steel insert there. I'm not exactly sure. And then on the bottom, you can see we have these standard 12 by 12 millimeter mounting for normal frames, but it's also quite interesting to see the outer three holes. You can see they form a triangle, so... That may be a new frame gem fan has coming out soon. But these guys overall, the quality looks pretty decent, not super great. Um, the windings on them look like they're pretty all over the place. They're not very thick windings, just real low temp wire. But 1606 3500 kV, I think this is going to be an excellent 4 inch motor. However, I do have my doubts because I already put them on this, my Hyper Baby. Um, you can see the same exact motors here for 3 inch. Obviously, they're not going to perform as well on 3 inch as 4 inch. However, this guy had terrible vibration issues as soon as I put the motors on. I was running the Brother Hobby um, T1 1407 3600KV and it flew flawlessly on the KISS compact control in here. However, putting these guys on, I have terrible vibration issues. However, I did have to remove the C clips because the holes did not fit because these use a larger than normal c-clip which you can see on the bottom there versus sort of the standard size for 1407 motors so you can see it's quite a bit larger and that means my bells can just be removed so maybe that's where i'm getting the vibrations from however i've run five inch quad without c-clips before and i've never had any issues so i'm really not sure so if i do have vibration issues on the four inch with these guys i'll let you know as well and i'll probably be switching to the 3600 1407 brother hobby motors Okay, and for the receiver, we just have the little XM here. This is not the XM Plus, just because it's the only micro receiver I have right now. But it should work just fine. For the video transmitter, we have the Ishin VTX-03. You can see there, and like I mentioned before, the frame has a specific mount for this. This fits right into there, and it's a little back backpack for it. So if you are getting this frame, I definitely recommend the Ishin VTX-03. So it fits into that little mount. For the camera, I'll be using the Runcam Micro Swift 2. Now this is the same as the Micro Swift 1, same lens and everything. However, they now have conformal coating, um, sort of epoxy on the components. Hopefully you can see that shininess there to protect it. As well as this now has the volta Voltage OSD built in with the different presets for nighttime and say like light tracks or cloudy flying which is very nice be checking that guy out for the flight controller stack i'll be using the hglrc f425 tower this consists of a tiny little 20 by 20 um 4 in 1 esc here 25 amp they claim you can see really small no current sensor on this guy and it just has these pins right here which hook up directly into the flight controller they just um, go right together there and this is a little f4 flight controller also 20 by 20 that has an osd built in so very cool just real quick on that because i will be having a specific uh, review video for this and then lastly for the props i'll be using the new hq 4 by 4.3 by 3 v1s props pretty much the best four inch prop out right now because there really isn't that 
much assortment for inch for four inch props so i'm really hoping these guys will perform well Obviously, we will be gaining some weight with the prop nuts and the soldering, but we should also be losing some weight with the cut wires. So hopefully we will be somewhere right around 165, I think, which is going to be a fantastic weight for a 4-inch quad, and it should perform really well. All right, so that brings us to the end of the video. I just want to do a quick overview of all the components and electronics I'll be using for this 4-inch build. It's technically my second 4-inch build, but I feel like the first one I did didn't count because it had 2205 motors, way too big for 4-inch, and it was super, super heavy. So pretty much this is my first real 4-inch build, and I'm really excited for it to see what kind of capabilities it has between the 3- and 5-inch categories. And if you're interested in any of the products below, I'll leave links down in the description. Also leave a comment of what you think of the parts that I chose for this, and if there was anything else that you'd be using that's different, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.